So hi, this is Lou, welcome to my channel. And this week's videos are all going to be about acrylic paint, mark making and collage. So we're gonna start out with some basic mark making with some acrylic paint. Now I've got lots of different types of acrylic paint here. For this one, I'm going to be using this black. It's a fairly cheap one, there's nothing special about it. I've got some acrylic paints that I think of as kind of proper paints for doing proper paintings. Um, and uh, things like these golden ones, professional colours, uh, they are quite expensive to buy, but the pigments in them are beautiful, they're very delicious. Um, and then I've got a couple of kind of cheap craft paints and acrylic paints that I use for lots of experimenting. So I'll be using a mix of these different paints this week, uh, but for today I'm just going to be sticking with the black. You also need something to paint with and I've got a selection of different brushes, different sizes. Um, these I pick up in kits fairly cheaply. I don't spend a fortune on brushes for acrylic painting because uh, they don't need they don't need to be very expensive. You don't need to carry a lot of water in the in the bristles and they tend to be a little stiffer than the ones you'd use for watercolor painting. But whatever brushes you have at home, you can use for this. Make sure you wash them out thoroughly once you're finished using them before the paint's dried, because once the paint dries in the bristles, you can never really get it out. Again, I've got a jar of water. I'm gonna use this to dilute the paint and also to wash my brushes and a paper towel to dry my brushes on. And then I've got a selection of little plastic pots and things like that for using for palettes. You don't want to use anything that uh, you're precious about, so don't use a nice plate or something, because unlike watercolour paint, you can't reactivate the paint once it's dry. So once the paint's dried on the palette, you can't really reuse it. And then to paint on, I have cut up some squares of just, this is just plain white card. Um, if you've got paper at home, that'll work as well. The more uh, weight your card or paper has, the better, because the more it'll be able to take the paint. So I wanted to create lots of little shapes to paint on and I'm going to do a, a different mark on each one. So I've given myself a good stack here so I'm not going to run out and I can just work through the stack. If you're working from A4 paper, if you divide it up into six you'll get roughly the same size as these. And that's all we're going to need for today but throughout the week we might need some other things. So I have some paper scissors and some glue for making collages. I've got some different pens and markers that will go over the top of the acrylic paint that I can use to add some detail later on. And I also have an old pencil and I'm just going to use this end here with the rubber on it because this makes a really nice round mark. Okay, so let's get painting. So I'm going to use a little bit of this black paint. I'm just going to squeeze it in there. And I want to be able to um, move this around a little bit more, so I'm just going to add in a little bit of water. Maybe a bit more than that. And I'm being very careful to add just a few drops of water at a time because I don't want my paint to get too dilute. I want it to look really nice and black on the page. If you dilute it too much it can go kind of grey. I've covered my work surface here with a big sheet of paper so that any marks I get on here I don't have to worry about. So my paint's getting now to be a good gloopy consistency. It runs a little bit off the brush but not too much. So I'm going to start by bringing in my first piece of card and making my first marks on it. So for this, I'm just gonna do really simple, some dots. Right, now I can move that to one side to dry. Bring in my next one, and let's make some new marks. really interesting to see the difference that you get in the texture between you and your brush is very wet and when it's getting drier. And 
I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to try and think of new patterns. If I switch my brush, I'll give this one a good clean, and then I can see if I if I get different effects using the uh, same pattern but with a different brush. And at some point, I'll be forced to be a little bit more creative and start to think about how I can combine some of these patterns and how I can make them more interesting. So now I'm going to go in with this pencil and just use that to see what different kind of marks I can get with that. switch to this more bristly brush and I'll see if that makes a difference. And you don't have to stick to patterns, you can do really random things as well. So I'm just going to scribble with this dry brush all over this one. A lot of this exercise is really about experimenting and playing. brush and I'm going to see if I can get some smaller details on these pieces of card as well. as well so I might do some leaves maybe with a flower
gone on and created lots and lots of these. There's lots of things that you can do with them. You can put them to a sketchbook, you can keep them as a reference, you can create nice grids of them and then you can paste them onto a larger canvas. But uh, what we're going to do for the rest of this week is use some of these patterns in collage and I've got some examples here. So here are some I made earlier and we're going to be introducing some colour, some collage and some different elements of scale. So if you do follow along any of my exercises, I'd really love to see your results. I'm on Instagram at Lou, Lou Rachel Davis and I've got a Facebook page at Lou Davis Artist and Maker. And I will be producing several videos a week during this lockdown period with different creative prompts. So if you do follow along, I'd love to see what you come up with. Thanks very much for watching today and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.